Hello, young explorers. Are you ready to dive into a world full of colors and magic? Today, we're embarking on a journey, not to the moon or the stars, but right here on our very own planet. It's a journey filled with splashes of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yes, you guessed it right. We're going to explore the fascinating world of rainbows. So buckle up and get ready to uncover the secrets of these colorful arcs in the sky. Rainbows, as you might have seen, are beautiful arcs of color that appear in the sky. But what exactly is a rainbow, you ask? Well, in the simplest of terms, a rainbow is a marvelous display of colors that shows up when sunlight gets sprinkled onto tiny droplets of water in the air. It's as if Mother Nature herself has taken a giant paintbrush and swept it across the sky. Now, a rainbow isn't just any random splash of colors. It follows a specific order, like the keys on a piano. Starting from the outside and moving in, we see red, followed by orange, then yellow, green, blue, indigo, and finally violet. That's seven colors in total, remember it by the acronym ROIGBIV. And there you have it. So the next time you witness this natural wonder, you'll know that a rainbow is like a giant colorful smile in the sky. Ever wondered how these magical arcs form in the sky? Well, it's time to unravel the mystery. Rainbows are a beautiful blend of physics and art, and the secret ingredients are sunlight and raindrops. Sunlight might seem white to our eyes, but it's actually a mix of different colors. Imagine it as a band playing music, with each color being a different instrument. When all the instruments play together, we hear a symphony, just like sunlight is a symphony of colors. Now let's bring in the raindrops. Raindrops are like tiny clear prisms. When sunlight enters a raindrop, something amazing happens. The light bends or refracts and then reflects off the inside surface of the raindrop. As it exits the raindrop, the light bends again. This bending and reflecting process splits the sunlight into its individual colors, creating a beautiful spectrum. But why do we see these colors in the shape of an arc? That's because every color exits the raindrop at a slightly different angle, forming a circle of light. We usually only see a half circle, or arc, because the ground interrupts the rest. The order of colors in a rainbow always remains the same. Do you remember the acronym ROY G BIV? It stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Red light bends the least, so it's always on the outer edge of the rainbow, while violet light bends the most, making it the innermost color. And here's a fun twist. The size and shape of the raindrops can affect how vivid the rainbow appears. Larger raindrops create brighter rainbows, while smaller ones may produce more intricate color bands. Isn't it fascinating how nature uses sunlight and raindrops to paint the sky? So, the next time it's sunny and raining, look up. You might just catch nature in the act of creating a radiant masterpiece. Sometimes, if you're really lucky, you might see not one, but two rainbows in the sky. This magical sight is known as a double rainbow. But how does it happen? Let's find out. You know how light enters a raindrop and bends, splits, then bounces off the inside of the raindrop to create a rainbow. Well, for a double rainbow, the light takes an extra step. It bounces twice. The first or primary rainbow is the bright, colorful arc we're all familiar with. It's formed when light bounces once inside the raindrop. But if the light decides to stick around and bounce twice, it creates a second or secondary rainbow above the first one. The secondary rainbow is a little fainter and has colors in reverse order. Yes, you heard right, the colors flip. So instead of red on the outside and violet on the inside, it's the other way around. So the next time you see two rainbows, remember, you're doubly lucky. Rainbows are not just beautiful, they're interesting too. Did you know that in some cultures, rainbows are seen as bridges to other worlds? Or that according to a Greek myth, the goddess Iris used rainbows as a pathway between heaven and earth? Now let's dive into some science. Rainbows are actually full circles. Yes, you heard that right. We only see a half circle because the ground interrupts the other half. And here's a fun one. No two people see the same rainbow. Why, you ask? Well, it's because everyone sees light reflecting off raindrops at slightly different angles. Who knew rainbows could be so interesting, right? Now that we know so much about rainbows, how about creating some of our own? Grab your crayons or colored pencils and let's draw a big, beautiful rainbow. Don't forget the seven magical colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You could also make a rainbow in a glass of water with sunlight, or even make a rainbow necklace with colored beads. Just remember, it's all about having fun and being creative. Let's recap our colorful journey. We've learned what rainbows are, how they form, and the role of raindrops in their creation. We've discovered double rainbows and explored some fun rainbow facts. Remember, after every rainfall, look up. You might just find a beautiful rainbow smiling down at you.